Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. It's Rachel here and I am here with gift idea number 11. So I was thinking this is another arty gift. Um, would be for another arty sort of person, I want to say someone who um, sketches or paints or whatever, is to make like a um, sort of sketch folio. So a place to keep drawings and things like loose pieces of paper so I had this book that I had emptied out for my paper packs it was an art book and I thought I would um, pretty it up a little bit so I've got some some um, hand marbled paper from Venice and I'm going to cover part of the the cover with that and probably protect it with Mod Podge. Now, I haven't planned any of this, so, um, well, I planned, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So let me, this is how I'm going to measure. So this is 5 centimetres, 10 centimetres, 13 centimetres I'm going to cut them. Oh, this is very bodgy crafty, I must say. 13 centimetres. So I'll get my nice uh, tears of ruler that doesn't slip because I'm going to use my cutter this one here and I'm going to cut two pieces right so if I put that on the five there 20 so that's 20 and I go if you can get out of my way 13 okay there we go to there and it doesn't have to, this is a nice straight edge here so that that will be on the front and I'm going to do front and back the same one and then I need to cut another one. So this has been rolled up. It's not advisable to keep your papers rolled up because then they don't lay flat and they drive you bananas. Drive you bananas. Bananas. And I'm trying to get this done before the big bro plummets into town. Because I, then I won't be doing any work, will I? Well, I am going to the antique market tomorrow and it will be the... Oh, oh no, yeah, it will be my... It'll be the last one of my favourite antique market before I go to Australia. Hope I'm not making a mistake. And, um, yeah, it'll be the last one of this fantastic one that I go to. Um, and then there'll be my, one in my little town, but that one's, you know, it's, you get stuff that's not, not like the big one. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, and get some glue on there. I'm going to use my PVA and... If I line that up there, then I, I don't like this much. Things just always get in my way, don't they? It just drives me mad. If I do that, then I can see. I can just sort of lay that on the three, you see. And then I can, and I'll know that where I'm gluing it. Aha, tricky. Tricky, tricky. So, yeah, and then I know where to start my glue here. I'm using my mat. That's clever of me. I never use my mat. Now, well, <gasps> no, that's wrong. That's wrong. See, I'm not very clever. Get my wet one. I, I mean, I will need glue there afterwards, but I don't, I just want to, I don't need it right this second there. I need to go on the 10 here. So down we go. Put plenty of glue on there. Not too much. Don't want to exaggerate because otherwise the paper will go all, um, lumpy. Now, where is my card? It was here before. It was here before. It's, oh, that's under my glue thing. I'm just going to get glue everywhere, probably. I'll just have to wipe it off. I could have put a piece of paper down, but no, then I couldn't use my mat, could I? Oh, so many, so many butts. Whatever's. Okay. So I hope everybody is well. Um... It's a cloudy day here today. It's meant to be pouring with rain, but it's not. So that's good. Well, I like the rain, you know that. Um, it's always a nice um, reason to stay inside. Okay, so I've got to line it up. One, two, three, there. So that way I sort of... The reason why I want to line it up, I'm being a little bit more precise than usual, is because I want when I close my book, I want my... Um, patterned papers to sort of be at the same point if you know what I mean now I need to wipe this off I've got a piece of just dry 
paper towel here. I'll just wipe it off because I want to just smooth it out a little bit. So I kind of have a vague idea of what I want to do, but um, um, I haven't really planned it out that much is the thing. I'm like, I'm not quite sure how it's going to evolve. I'm just going to wipe that off for the moment because I need to flip it over. I want to flip it over. Okay. And, oh, sorry. Oh, I just whacked you guys. Whoops. Whoopsie. Let me just double check we haven't flipped the camera around because that would be fun and fresh, wouldn't it? So I guess I could I could do something like that. Do we want we want to cover the yes, let's cover the the corners with the paper. Don't know what I'm doing here. I've never done this before. We'll fold that. I mean normally I would trim it off, but I don't want to have raw if you know what I mean, they'll, it'll, it'll eventually rip. So I think I'm better off to, to fold it over. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue here. Get the glue. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it, the way I did that? I need to do it in a triangle. Well, maybe I'll put the glue on there. A bit of sticky tape there. That's probably better. Put some glue down there as well. Oh, and some glue over there. Glue everywhere. That's a better idea. And just, I'm just going to try and crease it down a little bit, if that's at all possible. And this one I did a bit of a, a bodgy job, didn't I? I didn't. I need to glue that bit there as well. Well, you can't even see here. You're probably off screen. It's a, it's a big book, so I probably won't be able to fit perfectly on screen at all times. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm just, I just don't want to miss my. I like to get, you know, each week the one idea done. So don't want to be late. And usually I get it done on the weekend. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to be late. So I thought if I get, get it done today, then I'll do the cleaning and tidying up this afternoon. I've got to take Madam out shopping for her birthday. Because, you know, she's at that age now. She didn't give me... I told her... I said to her... She gave me a, a, a birthday list. Normally, it's a mile long. In fact, I originally had one that was a mile long. I shouldn't have let her take that one away from me. Then she gave it... She said she needed to modify the list. My, the, I'm talking about my daughter. And so then she needed to modify the list. And she gave the list back to me. And I was shocked. The list was shorter. I mean, what 14-year-old would take the list away and give you back a shorter list? I thought she was adding on to it. Instead, it came back like a quarter of what it was before. And then, of course, you get all the um, ones coming. You know, she's they're all going to have... Well, we are as well, but we'll be at a different table. Um, they're going to have pizza to her friends and stuff, and they have their own table and whatever. And, um, and so, anyway, then the mums are like some of our friends... The mothers and they're our friends as well. We're all gonna they they come and have dinner as well. But we, as I said, we stay at a separate table so we don't sort of hinder the youth. Anyway, um, and then they're like, "Oh, what can we get, Lulu?" So of course I've given them a couple of the the less expensive items on her list, which was very short. There were like six items or something, um, and then several of them were like, "I need to pick them," <laughs> and one of them was money. So. I really didn't have many options to sort of surprise her with anything. So, um, so yeah, so that, so I'm taking it. I said to her, I'm not, you won't have a present in the morning, which I hate because I normally like to have something there for her in the morning. Um, but we will go right after lunch. You can skip volleyball and we will go shopping for your birthday. So there we go. Oh, isn't that nice? So, um, so that's what's happening this afternoon. Madam's going out shopping for her birthday. So I do the same on the back. And in theory, they should they should um, meet. So yeah, so the silly goose gave me a shorter list. I mean, what am I going to do with that? It's not going to get me very far. I mean, normally it's a mile long and you can give plenty of ideas to those who are purchasing gifts and they don't know what to get her. And, um, and you've got plenty to choose from yourself. So um, anyway, so she's... 
she's at that age with the clothing that she needs to kind of go and choose it herself otherwise you'll do the wrong thing so um, that's what we're going to do okay right so I'll get that glue off there put this down which is my left so both sides are straight and also I'm making sure the pattern's the same direction oh this piece is nice isn't it and I'm lining it up oh look at that lining it up here now I've moved my book haven't I well that's not clever don't move the book you could you could take your book down so it doesn't move if you if you're worried about it um more or less the same amount on top and bottom has my book moved again I don't think so I think that's good. There we go. That'll do. Oh, this is really yummy. Really yummy. Will I use my card? Just to be sure. And you see, I didn't exaggerate with the glue. So hopefully, yeah, I haven't had any, hardly any wrinkling in the paper. And it's quite a thick paper, this marbled paper that I bought in Venice. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't learn the lesson, can I? I'm so sorry. Are you feeling seasick by now? We're not, we haven't flipped around, so that's good. Oh my wordy lordy, I'm very sorry, guys. So I'm putting my glue on my corner. Very sorry, do apologise. I am a bodgy crafter, you know that. Bodgy things happen all the time. So we're going to pull that corner in. Yes, you can see me. Thank heavens for that. And then crease it get glue on your table because that's just something that seems to be part of the process and I need to crease this one down as well it's not easy the creasing I don't think it naturally wants to crease okay and I'll just come over here I don't know if I'm, I'm this on screen or oh yes I am oh, I see I'm, I'm not feeling very confident am I doubting myself Okay, so let's get some glue. I'll do the sides first. You don't want to be too stingy with the glue. You want it to stick. So this might be a several part video. It's going to be several parts, I think, because it's a bit of a, a bit of a process. We might get, just get the cover done. Now, at first I thought it was just going to be an art folio, and that was inspired by... Caterina Giglio and maybe I'll link her below um, she's on YouTube and she's had many 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 I just discovered her I think uh, I think I follow her maybe on I think I found it in the suggested things on Instagram and then I started following her and then I saw she had a YouTube channel so I've been watching Caterina's videos um, and she's of Italian origin I think and um, anyway but she's American, she speak, has an American accent. Um, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so um, she's been published many, many times in Somerset Studio and those sorts of Stampington, those Stampion, Stampington magazines. So um, you'll probably enjoy her channel. Very, very creative, very creative lady. Anyway, so I saw her video and um, it was, she had made herself one just to store her loose um, paper drawings you know that on single sheets not in in art books in you know sketchbooks I should say like what Lulu used to do when she was little and so she she does that sometimes oh look at that you see how they meet they're the same okay next job I'm going to use now this is one of my favorite hemp's I have been hoarding this for years and um, yep I've been hoarding it for years and I don't I'm not selling it um, Mum and I came across it when she was here many moons ago. Now I'm going to do very bad cutting here. Um, she was here and I'm just going to roughly cut it there. And the lady in my town had um, a roll of it and we, we bought all that she had. Basically we bought some and then we went back and bought the rest because you never find it this natural um, color and so um, anyway I had it on, on my shelves it, it needed to be washed it, it was very different texture when it wasn't washed and when it, when I washed it it's just yummy and this is ironed it doesn't look ironed does it but it is ironed 
and I'm just getting this fluffy bit. I'll keep that. You can't see because I'm, I'm off screen now. I'm slipping, sliding all over the place. Um, but anyway, um, these are not fabric scissors either. Um, so it was different. Then when you wash it, it goes all bobbly and crinkled and, and stuff like that. So um, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to put that there. I don't. I have a bit of leather, um, but I, it's quite a thick leather and... I actually like my fabric more. Now I need to try to cut this in a fairly straight fashion if I can. Now if I cut it there, is that going to be, that might be, no I need to just cut it. Wait, let me see. What? I don't want to cut it there. I don't want to, I need to leave myself a bit of leeway so I need to cut it along there. So I'm just going to, wait where's my big ruler? I'm going to put my big ruler down. I'm not going to, I'm just going to cut it with my scissors, but I'm just, I just want to hold it more or less there. And I need to cut down here. It's not going to be perfect. It's just not possible for me to do perfect things. Well, it would be possible, but then I would, I would find it quite tiresome, to be honest. I wouldn't enjoy it as much. I like being messy. I'm probably going very crooked. I'll make sure I put the crooked bit on the back. And the re I have to take it out. Um, the, the reason why I would not fold it under is it's quite a robust, um, strong, that's not too bad, um, strong fabric. So it would be very chunky monkey then. You don't want to be too chunky. Okay, so we've got to get glue everywhere. So let me see here. I need my glue to here and to... Well, no, I'm going to put my glue here. I'm going to glue this part first, and then I'm, I'm actually going to fold it shut, the book, and then I'll glue the spine, get it in the creases, and then glue the other. Okay, so I need to have a bit of glue over here, because we do need it to come a little bit over there. Now, I haven't, you know, what I haven't done is I haven't, I should have measured the fabric, when I held the book shut because oh well the uh, it might overhang differently on the front and back if you know what I mean onto this paper I'll do it try to do it about a centimeter over and just spreading my glue out I know I wasn't gluing that bit yet but I've got too much glue here I do, I do recommend um, spreading your glue out when you're doing this kind of thing because um, you don't want too much um, glue. Uh, even though this is a thick fabric, you don't want too much glue going on your fabric. Okay. Let me just fix that up. Okay. Give that a clean. And now, um, this was the way it was going. So I've got the, this is the selvage here so I'll put that at the front because that's going to be the neatest part of the fabric and I'm just going to flatten it down as best I can as I said this fabric this is its best ironing probably my mother-in-law could iron it slightly better than me yeah well no actually definitely better than me because I am not an ironer as we know now that it's very um it's very stiff this fabric too so it's quite doesn't want to do what you want it to do Okay, so now my thing is I need to do go like this. And then we will be able to see how crooked this is. And it's not too bad actually, but it's overhanging too much. Oh, there it's okay. Let's see. And there it's overhanging too much, so it's a little bit crooked. What I'm going to do is, oops, I'm going to glue it a little bit here as well. It's a very um, messy job, isn't it? Like fiddly job, not messy, fiddly. I think it will be nice when it's done. Just going to get plenty of glue down in there, and I'm just going to put a little bit here so it will stay firm, and I can see where. I need to cut it. If you if you were to glue the um, fabric down while the book is open, I think you would find it won't 
when you close it, you'll, the, it won't close properly. Because when I'm making fabric covers, which I haven't done for a while for, um, you know, like with the sleeves that you slide the notebook into, you always do your measurements with the book shut. Because otherwise, if you do it with the book open, the notebook, um, it will, um, it will, um, so I'm just measuring while I'm talking to you. Um, so here, this is not right here. Put it there. That looks straight. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Put it down there. I'm very brave. Trim away. Um, oh yeah, you'll find when you fold, when you go to um, put the notebook in, um, you will find that it's too small the cover because you didn't measure when it was closed. Because there's a, you've got to let, there's a little bit of you need to leave a little bit of leeway for pulling, and as it goes around the corner, I don't know, it needs more, it needs more more fabric. Okay, now I'm going to spread that out and see what happens. Make sure I get it everywhere. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. This is just my messy way. You guys have the benefits of seeing me make my boo-boos. I hope I don't make a mistake. I have to start again. Get find another book. Okay. Right. And let's glue it down. I've got too much glue. Just get your wet one and run it along there. I'm going probably, probably, probably going to Modge Podge the paper part probably so that will probably need to dry won't it it's got a few bubbly bits but I think that's about the best I can do with this fabric and then what I was going to do was um, go in here and put plenty of glue here so not quite done yet get the glue in there get your card and spread it everywhere Maybe I'll go that way so I don't get too much. And then you need to fold it over. Hopefully it's going to work. Put that over there. And I might need to clip it. Oh, look at all that glue. It's oozing out. Oozing glue I've got. And I just wanted to make sure it sticks down, really. That's why I've got using glue and I'm just, oh, I've got glue on my iPad. My iPad's there because I did my other video this morning already. Okay. Have I got glue under there? Yes, I think I do. Okay, so we'll turn it around. So that's glued over. And I'm just going to grab here. Am I recording? Yes, I am. I'm just going to grab here and I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to put a couple of these clips to make sure it glues down. You know, it stays stuck. Because as I said, it's quite a strong, resistant fabric. Okay, because it is an antique hemp and it's quite thick. And it doesn't necessarily want to cooperate. So I'll glue here. this and spread it okay let's see if I've got enough yes I think so and just got to wipe my fingers here it is so here yep, this is a shorter bit the other bit was longer, so I'm going to need to clip it down straight away. Otherwise, it's just not going to stay there. Definitely need one in there. Actually, I should put one in there as well. 
talk about winging it and last minute decisions. I mean, each week I, I, you know, I started off with a few ideas for Christmas gifts, but um, each week it's always a last minute. It's becoming a, each week a last minute decision. In reality, next week would be the last one because I said 12, but if I have another idea, I'll, I'll do another one. How many weeks until I go to Australia? Yeah, I might I might get a couple more in if I feel like doing them. Because it is nice to have gift ideas that, you know, things that you would actually like to give, not sort of um, normal sort of things, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's the up. And that's all gluing down. And in reality, I probably should wait till it dries, but we don't really have time for that. So I'm going to cover inside as well. Just wondering, I think I'll have a trim on the outside to tie it shut. And on the inside, we're going to put a paper. What paper am I going to put? Um, so yeah, if you this is what I wanted to say. If you didn't have a marbled paper, and also doing it with the fabric just quickly, um, it also means you use less of your marbled paper, which is very expensive to buy. Um, but also, um, if you didn't have marbled paper, a beautiful, nice quality um, wrapping paper would be just as nice. There are some beautiful wrapping papers that are absolutely stunning, and so you would just use one of those if you didn't have the marbled paper. I was wondering whether, on the inside, because I want to attach um, bags and pockets and things, um, I know I could attach them if it's fair. I'd love to cover it in fabric inside, but I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm because I think it'd be more work better with paper. Could just do brown paper inside. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Um, what paper can I do inside? Um, I could do straw paper, although I don't have a big piece here. I've only got these little pieces. Let's see. They're not big enough. Straw paper would be nice, but then that's going to blend in too with the with the um, with the bags. Mm -hmm. Do I have any big pieces of? I think I've used it all. I was wondering if I had any big pieces of um, coffee dyed paper. I think I've used them. Just trying to think. No. So my other choice is to use. I would like to stay. Uh, this would be divine inside, I think. This paper. Wouldn't that be nice? We might have to use that one. So, how am I going to get that straight? How long have I been recording? Who knows? So, if I just cut a piece off, then it will be easier to measure it. Sorry about the noise. And I'm not enjoying the fact that it's rolling like that. Of course, the other option would be a um, scrapbooking paper. You could have one piece going across to here and then put a piece there to cover up, to you know, to patch it. But I do like this scrappy paper, so I will use that. But what I need to do is cut it. So, I need to take this mess off the table, move everything out of my way, it doesn't drive me mad. And first of all, I've got, I've got that edge there, so I could put a pencil mark in there. I should have my big trimmer in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see that. Maybe if I put a little, put a little snip in there. Okay. I might have to move this. I'll just put that over there for a second. I need to turn my mat around. I don't need that fabric anymore. I'll just chuck that over there. Go on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Don't roll your fab lately. I mean, this is on a roll, this paper, so I can't help that. But it's just so annoying when it's all roly-poly like that. Put those on there. 
and I'm just going to put that there. I wonder if that's going to be straight. No, that's, that's straight. Well, why don't I do it like that? Put that on there. Okay, now grab my big ruler, the one that doesn't slip. I'm the sewing machine. This is just impossible. Straight. Okay. Put that. It's just about there. And it's just going to have to do, isn't it? Now where's my cutter gone? I'll be under all this mess that I shoved over here. There it is. Found it. And cut down there. Okay, throw that on the floor out of the way. And now, I need my height. I'm going to have to trim it off both ends. What am I doing? This is my height here. I need to trim it off both ends. So, well, first of all, I'm just going to cut it down this way. There. I'm going to make that one straight. Oh, this is not easy. So, if I mind that, I'm using my mat to make it straight. See, that looks straight. And I love um, my, my mat here that has the little non slip things very good. If I get that there, I need to see my height here. I'll put that there. Talk about awkward. It can be about there. So on eight, I have to cut it on eight. Okay, got it. Eight, eight, eight. And eight is there. It's still no, it just moved slightly. No, there we go. And eight is there. And then I can just trim down there. And in theory, in theory, it's straight. It's um gonna fit. That's what I want to say. So so you can see I didn't measure my book at all. I just eyeballed it and I could regret that decision. So mm -hmm. let's get organized again. Move these out of the way, turn my mat around. Oh, that's my work mat. Probably needs a scrub again. Thank you, ladies, for keeping me on my on my toes. So I need to clean my mat, and that's going to be good, I think. So let me just see here. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's going to be lovely. Lovely. It doesn't have to be perfect. Who said it had to be perfect? Okay. So for my gluing, I'm going to take these off here. And I'm just going to glue this side first. Hopefully I go straight and don't make a big epic mess. So maybe this video, oh my goodness, look what I've done. Got glue everywhere. Because that's just, you know, got no words. No words whatsoever to describe my disappointment in myself at getting glue all over my bits that I need. So get some glue on here and spread it out. Stick our paper down. We don't, again, we don't want too much. We don't want it to crinkle. Better get it in there. I wonder how I'm going for time. Now we're getting moving. Now I need to get it along this edge here. Tiny bit more I think I need. A little bit too stingy I was. OK, 
Okay, let's see how we go. Stick a bit of paper down there. I might put it in my middle as well. I think I might do that. It might be easy to do it with that part when there's no um, paper getting in my way. That might be easy. I'm going to need to get a bit in there. This is the fiddly bit because it's rolly paper too and I know I need to go fairly close to my edge there I think but not quite that far up oh isn't that pretty I've got glue everywhere don't need that much glue where's my wet one Wet one, where are you? Did I throw it over there? No, that's a dry one. Where's the wet one? Got a dry one? Over here behind my sewing machine. How'd you get behind my sewing machine, wet one? Okay. My hands are going to need a good clean after this. Yeah, just try and get out air bubbles. I probably should be using my card, but my card's got glue all over it. So I do have another one, but it would require me to stretch and get it. And I'm not in a stretching mood. Oh, isn't this lovely? I really do like it. Might have to start drawing. So I can have one. Come on. Okay. Now this is the fiddly. Oh no, look, it just folds back like that. That's good. Get these off. So it has taken some time to prepare the cover, hasn't it? Sometime. Okay, let's start spreading that out and see how we're going. Need plenty on the fabric, otherwise it won't stick down. too far. I need some more. Just a bit more. Okay, just to make sure I've got enough to stick it all down. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, it went a bit crooked there. Doesn't matter. It was never going to be perfect where I'm concerned. When I'm working on it, never going to be perfect. If that were really bothering me, I could put something there. You know, like a bit of washi or another piece of paper like a collage. Make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, so that's going to dry a minute. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Look at that, and you open it out. And I mean, there's a few crinkles in there. It's not going to be 
perfect but they I think I'm probably going to cover those up most of it's going to be covered so there we go so I'll end off this video um, and then I'll come back I'm going to have a think I'm going to go and make a coffee and have a think about it for a second and then I'll be back to do the second part I'm sorry about that crooked bit there but you know that's just it just happens doesn't it okay so I'll be back soon bye